Hey everyone, welcome. So here I have some chicken legs. I've removed the skin and I've made some slits on each side to really help the marinate soak into the chicken. Then I added in some spices. Next I'm going to add in some minced ginger and garlic. You can also do ginger and garlic paste. After that, I'm adding in some plain Greek yogurt. You can also do regular yogurt. After that, I am going to mix the chicken very well with the marinade, get every corner. Then I'm going to take a plastic cling wrap, cover it, and let this marinate in the fridge for a couple hours, or you can do this overnight. After that, I am going to take a pan that has been heated on medium, add it in some butter, and let that melt. Next, I'm adding in the chicken. Make sure you use a larger pan if you are using um, or if you are cooking a lot of chicken because it's going to develop some nice color instead of it steaming if you use a smaller pan. So I'm cooking it on each side for about five to six, six minutes until we get that nice um, like brown golden color. Once we have done that, I'm going to remove all the chicken pieces. So don't worry guys, this is not burnt. It's all flavor there. We're not going to wash it off. I added in some butter. Let that butter melt. Once we have done that, I'm going to add in some more ginger and garlic, um, and some onions, and I'm going to saute this just for a couple of minutes. Once we have done that, I'm going to add in some spices. We're going to also saute this. Make sure you keep mixing so it doesn't burn. This is going to release all the flavors of the spices. Then I poured in some fresh tomatoes that I have blended into in a uh, blender. Next, I'm adding the chicken back in. Once I have done that, I'm going to um, cover it and let that cook for 10 minutes on one side. Then I'm going to flip all the chicken pieces and let that cook again for another 10 minutes. At this point, you want to make sure your chicken is about done or almost done. Then I'm going to take some heavy cream and just pour it all over the top. Then I'm going to cover it and let that cook again for a few more minutes. At this point, the chicken should be thoroughly cooked. Then we are going to take some fresh cilantro, garnish it, and then it will be time to serve. 